Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to build dependent drop-down lists in your spreadsheets or financial model. Dependent drop-down lists can add further spreadsheet controls with your financial model. As the following model shows, we have business units that are domiciled in Canada and also in the United States. So clearly we need or we can make full use of dependent drop-down lists in this example. The tax rates on the right hand side are sourced from the below table of, of Canadian provinces and US states. To begin in the country column we'll need to create a standard drop-down list which will be sourced and created in our lookup tables worksheet. So we'll go to our lookup tables worksheet and here we have it. We've, I've already created the names Canada and the United States. Now I need to select this range and then on the top of my uh, for, um, menu I select formulas. Under define names I select define name now I need to, I'm going to call it countries and always keep scope to workbook and as we can see this is referring to the applicable data range so we click OK. We will now name the two different ranges for both the Canadian provinces and for the US states. Now remember for the dependent drop-down lists to work the defined name we give to these subsequent data arrays must be identical to the precedent names listed in the country's data range so the, the Canadian provinces data range has to be named Canada and we can go to the table again, formulas, defined names, data range. Now we have to call it Canada in the exact same fashion as we had it in the table. Click OK. And similarly with the US, formulas, defined names, defined name, USA. Now we can return to the model assumptions worksheet where we are wanting to insert our drop down list and dependent drop down list. Firstly, under Montreal Gas, we'll create our drop down list. Now, under Headings, select Data. Under Data Tools, select data validation. Now the first tab settings we want validation criteria. Now under allow we want to select list and then under source we want to type equals countries which was the defined name range of our countries USA and Canada and click OK. As you can see we have the two relevant countries Canada and the United States as per our list up here which we can see. Now returning to that assumptions page I now want to create a dependent drop-down list. Now once again and I'll select under the corresponding cell I63. Now again I go to data, data tools, data validation, again settings, validation criteria, allow and again list. Now the difference with this is I'm not going to refer to the dependent um, defined name. 
I have to actually refer to it indirectly. So hence, I will use the Excel function indirect. So equals indirect, open brackets, and the precedent cell, which in this case for Montreal Gas is H63. Now I want to make this formula dynamic, so I'm going to press F4 twice, three times, sorry. Close brackets, click OK. Now you'll receive this error message. Merely click let yes, because as I continue, I'll show you that it will no longer be an error once we select the precedent country drop down list. And I'll click OK. Now, back on our country column here. I'm going to select Canada for Montreal Gas. I now have my drop down, dependent drop-down list working, as we see. Fantastic. We have our relevant Canadian provinces as per H, uh, our lookup sheet, which I'll go back to verify. Here we go, which is the defined range Canada. I'll return to my list and select the relevant province which will be Quebec and instantly our tax rate is populated. Now I can continue and copy this these drop down but the dependent uh, the drop down list and dependent drop down list as follows. I'm going to copy them as blank like this. Either press control down or copy paste and I just go down as follows Quebec Gold will be again Quebec but I'm going to make it a bit different I'm going to make this New Brunswick Ontario Energy now Thunder Bay Nickel I'm going to assume is a US domicile in the United States and under California say and again with yellow knife just for to show you I have the dependent US states but if I was to pick Canada I have my dependent Canadian provinces so there you have it your ability to create dependent drop-down boxes in your financial model or spreadsheet. Thank you.